Booze Behind Door Number 50 The Maestro Harmonics, Order, Responsibility The Maestro is the core figure of the orchestra and the extended musical community. His instinctual awareness scrutinizes what is corrupt or unjust, unnecessary or self-serving. This is his way of caring for every aspect of life within the orchestra. From the maestro's perspective, everything is experienced as music. He establishes or challenges values, responsibilities and regulations that govern the preservation and well-being of the community. His intuition lets him know what balance and harmony looks and sounds like in any situation. Everyone naturally trusts the maestro for his fairness and ability to create synergy with people and instruments, sounds and rhythms, tone and timbre. He organizes human beings into a beautiful symphony in which they become actual instruments and consciousness itself plays its music through them. The maestro's aura creates powerful ripples and electromagnetic currents that have the remarkable effect of bringing groups into equilibrium. He harmonizes the music to create inner peace in the listeners by bringing balance between all instruments, all voices. The maestro is married to the beautiful nourisher, the 27th door. She accompanies him and the orchestra of their tours and constantly makes sure that everyone is fed and cared for. These two archetypes show that it's possible to co-create a truly peaceful world and uphold the vision of peace, harmony and collaboration. They know that maintaining social equilibrium involves fulfilling the needs of both the individual and the group as a whole. Together, the maestro and the nourisher role model a harmonious relationship and the younger generations learn self-responsibility and healthy giving and receiving through them. The maestro's best friend is the grid worker, the 44th door, who is a master of team dynamics and a true ally through any endeavor. These two archetypes never impose their will on anyone. Instead, they see that there is a self-organizing intelligence that naturally arises when people play their chosen instrument and are encouraged to passionately contribute to the unfolding of the melody and the whole. Their community radiates health as a result of trusting all individuals with their own freedom and contribution to the synarchy. Nothing matters more to the maestro than preserving the integrity of the music and honoring each instrument. He has studied the biggest composers and teachers, and his skills for directing the orchestra are in his DNA and trained through him from generations of composers and musicians in his family. The maestro reverses his musical lineage, but is never afraid of doing things in a new way if that feels more aligned. His little brother is the internal child, door number three who isn't afraid of building something and then tearing it apart to allow space for a new creation to be born. Like a jazz musician, the maestro and his little brother are able to rift and break the rules, honoring and guarding the genius of the past while improvising the new. The maestro's stress approach can lead to transforming an old composition into a new masterpiece. The compositions of this archetype are ever evolving. His key words are music, values, trustworthiness. His internal motivator, music is harmony. His positive attributes are, as a highly attuned musical ear, understands the harmony of the whole, role models integrity. His Achilles heels is, perceiving all the interference and chaos around him, can hear the slightest off tone, least rather than being led. His jinky shadow patterns are victim of environmental disharmony. His dilemma is resignation. When he is in his repressive nature, he is overloaded. You submit to hierarchy and fear it, which creates repression. You feel overwhelmed with the weight of the world and with the responsibility of protecting those closest to you. You are the victim of the hierarchy itself and are caught up in the system. Unable or unwilling to escape the system, you may live a life in which your dreams are compromised due to the perceived social responsibilities. This low frequency creates a stalemate because it is in your dreams that your creativity resides. 
When he is in his reactive nature, he is irresponsible. Your fear emerges as unconscious anger, which can be expressed either up the hierarchy, at the leaders, or down those below. You are irresponsible in the sense that you feel you are not accountable for the results of your actions. You may be one of the empire creators, the industrialist, the competitive businessman or woman who are obsessed with only gain and status. You could also be a rebel, criminal or corrupt official at any level of society. Thank you.